Today we are going to go through insertion sort, which is a problem under sorting session of algorithm on Akaren. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. In this problem statement, we are supposed to perform the last step of the insertion sort. What is insertion? What is insertion sort? What is it about? For you to understand more of what this problem is, let me introduce to you this concept of inser insertion sort. I will put the link in the description. So this is an image from geek for geek So the link will be in the description of the video, and it will be easily able to go there and have more explanation. So the idea of the insertion, the insertion sort is that you consider a part of an array being sorted and you insert an element in that array in such a way that the array will still be sorted. So uh, globally how it works, you first consider the first element to be sorted. So this is actually where we are. Now you move to the second element and you are supposed to insert this element in this sort array, in this sort sub array, in such a way that this element is going to be sorted. And for doing so, you perform a, um, I would say, you look through the element until you find an element which is directly lower than the target element, or until you, you, you hit the, the beginning of the array. Okay, let me take it easy. Is two less than four? Yes. So four will come here, and there will still be four here. Is two less than three? Yes. Three will come here, and then we are at the beginning of the array. Two will be here. That's why you have two, three, and four. Now let us take ten. Is ten less than uh, four? No. So we stop there. No pen. No. Uh, no replacement to to apply. So basically, this is how the insertion sort is working. You actually consider a subpart of the of the array being sorted, and you look through the array by finding the element which is directly lower. And then, whenever you find an element which is greater, you kind of perform a, an array of uh, adjacent element. So in this problem, what we are supposed to do is that we consider an array like this. We consider an array where the subarray is actually sorted and just the last element is not sorted. And we are supposed to perform the operation I was just describing here. And by performing the operation, after each step, you are supposed to print the result for you to kind of make sure that you understand what is happening. So in this one, for instance, what is happening is that, okay, you take this one. This is the element you want to insert in this subarray. So you are going to take this one. You compare, is three actually less than, is three actually less than four? Yes, it is less than four. So you erase here. So you have five, five here. That's why you see you have five, five here. We see continue. Is three less than four? Yes. So this four will erase this. That's why you have uh, four, four, five here. Now we are here. Is three less than two? No, three is not less than two. So since three is not less than two, we break the loop and we erase, we replace the last element. So after this, we break the loop and we replace the last element where we were with the element we were looping with. So that is basically the idea of the insertion sort. And in this problem, we are performing just the last, uh, how would I say, the last iteration by uh, printing the element. Uh, how will it look like? How are we going to implement that? So what we describe here is exactly what we are going to implement. How will it look like? So the first thing we need to have is that, okay, we need to take the last element, which is the element we want to, we want to load with. Once we have it, we now need to have a for loop, which we are going to loop from the element before the last array to size minus one until the first element. That is actually uh, the way we, are, we need to go through. And then while looping, we have a condition 
if the element if the last element is actually less or equal to the element on which we are then we perform the the erase and after performing the erase we need to print the array so I will, I will tell you more about the print array function later and then else if it's not the case so that means we are in a situation where we need to break the loop and if we need to break the loop now we need to replace the element at position i with the last element and we print the array we break so that we will not continue printing the element now printing the array is actually just a function that will take an uh, a list of elements and a vector and we print all the element of of the vector it will just look like this so the print array we look through an array of element and print those elements and at the end will go go to new line so basically this one my approach of solving this i hope you do enjoy it let us run and see what it gives we have a congratulation everything is green so uh, for you to be comfortable and be more aware of how this is working i really encourage you to dive in into insertion sort and then uh, try to understand more of how it's work and then from there you should be able to like fully understand what is happening here this is actually just the last step of the insertion sort with the printing to it just like this so see you on the next video keep learning keep searching ciao